First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kadash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings unto the hopefully elect. And uh, man, I just uh, started off playing this clip from um, an old movie called Sugar Hill, man. And it's just uh, showing you that first off, of course, we know Esau's behind it, man, and, and put that part in the movie, but these Hamites. Uh, they know that we're two different people, man. And that's why I played this clip. You see, they called us Akata, which the apostles have been bringing out for years. Uh, uh, and they uh, which uh, they call us cotton pickers, man. They know that we're not the same people, man. But you have uh, uh, you Negroes uh, uh, claiming to be African-Americans and all this back to uh, 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 really uh, Ju uh, Judah and Benjamin are the main two that, uh, have, that, that, that claim this... Uh, connection to to africa man and we are not those same people man and the scriptures give you a, a, a constant uh history of war in between the children of israel and, and, and the canaanites man the philistines man that hold the nation of ham man and even till today you have these hamites they don't accept you negroes as, as part of them man Unless you're in one of their stores uh, uh, buying uh, uh, buying some of their products. But outside of that, they know we're two different people, man. You just look at the spiritual aspect of it. It's two, we have two different spirits in us, man. Ham is, is a filthy, uh, 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 disgusting uh, uh, nation, nation, man. I'm going to play this clip one more time and get into some scriptures, man. Steady trying to blend and mix with these uh, uh, dirty pieces of shit, man. They don't want to be with us. You shouldn't be want to be a bit damn Hamite, man. None of you Negroes that claim all this Afrocentric shit is going back to Africa and staying there, man. None of y'all identifying with the people are really getting into their customs and traditions, man. Throwing on a dashiki and reading a couple books that some damn Khazars and put together does not uh, 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 does not put you uh, uh, make you. Uh, 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 damn, in your mind, what you see to be as, uh, uh, basically being woke, man, when you sleep, man, but, uh, this is the first scripture I'm gonna get is Exodus chapter 11 and 7, it says, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, man. So the most I put a, a distinct difference in between the Egyptians and the Israel in Israel, man. First of all, we come out of two different lines, man. You guys are claiming uh, 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 to be a cursed nation, man. The descendants of Ham, the Canaanites, are cursed people, man. And I'm gonna get it in the scriptures to show you that that, that who you, you, you guys refuse to be uh, uh, Israelites, man. What you are. By, by by seed, by nationality, and, and, and you claiming to be a cursed nation, man. This is uh, Genesis chapter 9, and I'm going to start at 22. It says, And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon the uh, Salak. Yeah, uh, so verse 22. It says, uh, and, ha and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his, fa of his uh, father. And just a quick backdrop, this was after the flood. Noah had uh, had got nice, man, and he had got so nice he 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 was laid in his tent without his garment on, man. 
He was, uh, uh, and and this is what what what, what followed after this, man. This is uh back in Genesis nine and twenty two. It says, "Well, I'll jump up." This is Genesis nine and twenty. It says, "And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and was drunken, and was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren." And told his uh, brethren without. So Ham basically uh, mocked his father for being naked in the tent drunk, man. And Shem, reading on it says, And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness, man. So Ham went in the tent and he looked upon his father's nakedness and he mocked him, man. All right, read on, it says, and, and, Noah, and Noah awoke from his wine and knew that his younger son had done so like, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Curse be Canaan, a servant of servants shall be, so shall he be unto his brethren. So the, the, the descendants of him, which are the uh, Canaanites, it said they shall be uh, cursed, man. Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. Verse 26, to show the line we come out of Shem, this is the, uh, 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 the blessed line. It says, uh, and he said, blessed be the Lord power of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant, man. So there's a, just a, 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 a separation. There's a, a blessed line and a cursed line. The Most High has always been dealing with the blessed line. Uh, have a blessed line he's been dealing with. And you, uh, which is you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And like I said earlier, mainly you, uh, uh, Negroes, uh, you, the tribe of Judah and Benjamin are the main ones that, that try to link themselves with the Africans, man. You got, a like, a, a good example. You got, uh, Nas and, uh, Damian Marley. They did an album together called Distant Relatives, and they was doing nothing but pushing that African vibration out, saying, uh, uh pushing going back to Africa, man. And y'all claiming to be a, 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 a nation that's going to be destroyed, man, because when the Lord return, uh, uh, he's not going to uh, uh, meet him, uh, uh, bless the land of Africa. They going to be, uh, uh going to be, uh, put to death and going into slavery, man. That's going to be one of the nations that's going to be under subjection to the children of Israel in the kingdom of heaven, man. This is uh, Zephaniah chapter 2 and 12. It says, Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. So ye Ethiopians, man. The Hamites are going to be slain by the sword when, uh, when the Lord returns, man. And if you go back into our history, we have always, uh, since the beginning, have been warned with the nation of Ham, man. We've always been at war with them. First of all, for us to had uh, to inherit the land, we had to uh, uh, to, to to go to war, and, and the Most High rid rid uh, the land uh, of the Canaanites for us to inherit inherit our land, man. That's one of our, uh, our first enemies, man, and major enemies. This is uh, Exodus. Chapter 23, and I'm going to start at verse 27. It says, I will send my fear before thee, and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come. And I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee, and I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out Havite, the uh, Canaanite, and, uh, and Hittite uh, from before thee. Which were two uh, two of the uh, Canaanite nations, man. Uh, it says, uh, verse twenty nine, I will drive them out from before thee. In one year, lest the land be desolate, become desolate, and the beasts of the field multiply against thee. By little and little, I will drive them out from before thee until thou be increased and inherit the land, and I will set thy bounds from the Red Sea even unto the sea of the Philistines and from the desert unto the river, for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land, talking about the land of Canaan, 
into your hand. And how? what does that mean when the Lord say, I will deliver the inhabitants uh, of of the Lord, of the uh, land into your hand, man? First of all, one of our customs before we went to war, we prayed, uh, uh, the, 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 we prayed to the Most High to deliver them into our hand. In other words, give us the victory over our enemies, man. Which were the, 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 the nation of Canaan, man. The Canaanites. It says, and shall drive them uh, shall drive them out before thee, man. So this is one of our, uh, our first enemies that we had to go to war with first off to inherit our land, man. And y'all want to uphold Africa like and, and uh, the Egyptians like this, man. Israel was always making uh, the Egyptians great, man. Starting with Moses and then following up, you had uh, uh, Joseph when he was in, uh, in, in the land of Egypt, man. They the ones who, who was lifted up and made Egypt great, man. All the interpreters, the, the magicians, and, and, and different things uh, uh, under the Pharaoh, different men under the Pharaoh of high statue, uh, and interpreters and different things like that, they were nothing compared to, to, to the uh, the Israelite, uh, the two Israelite men that made Egypt great. Why? Because the Most High Power is dealing with the nation of Israel, uh, 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 which comes out of the blessed line of Shem, and not the cursed line of Ham, man. So you Negroes and, uh, uh, and you damn West Indians, y'all can continue uh, uh, striving to be Africans, but you're going to be destroyed on this side, man, and you'll be born into the kingdom in the right mind state, man. Shame that you want to be a, a shitty Hamite, man. Grab this definition real quick, just to just uh, draw the point home, man, because it's a definition for uh, Ham. Out of the Zondervan Comeback Bible Dictionary, it says, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races. Which progenitor means father. So, just stopping right there, this is why you, you, you simple niggas think that you Africans just because we the same color when you got Asians that's darker than some Negroes. You got Arabs that's pitch black, man. You got dark races all over the earth, man. But you niggas just love identifying yourself with uh with with Africa, cause that was one of the biggest uh uh, uh deceits that Esau played uh, uh tricks that Esau played on us was convincing us that we was uh so called Africans, man. So I'm gonna read the rest of the definition. It says, uh, not the Negroes. So they were the father of the dark races, but not the Negroes. But what? But the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and Canaanites, man. All our enemies, man. So you Negroes, you are not fucking Africans, man. And if you want to be an African, you're going to be destroyed lot wrong with them damn uh, 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 dirty, ashy Achilles having pieces of shit. Hey, with that, I'm going to end this, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. Man, death to anybody that want to be a Hamite. And, and want to say peace and blessings to all the brothers that's doing this work in truth and sincerity, man. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders once again, because they continue to rule well and guide us through the spirit. Peace and blessings unto the hopefully lick. Shalom.